So, on December the 23rd, 2013, I basically made a video challenging the Gerson therapy and its supporters and its practitioners to provide me with scientifically provable evidence that can basically prove that the Gerson therapy works. Now for those of you who don't know what the Gerson therapy is, um, basically, well, <laughs> you uh, have to have um, drink continuous copious amounts of juice uh, every single day and at the same time have four coffee enemas a day. Yes, and this will apparently cure you of cancer. Now of course they don't say specifically what type of cancer it was because these guys it's a it's a nonsense quack therapy treatment so of course they don't get into specifics or anything like that. Um, I've done over the years I, everyone I've ever heard of that has ended up doing this treatment and died you hear every single excuse under the sun when the biggest one, Jessica Ainscott, died a couple of years ago now, they threw her under the bus. When she was alive and she was supporting, you know, the Gerson therapy, they were like, yeah, brilliant, look, uh, the therapy's working for her. Isn't she so great? And then when she died, they did everything they possibly could, and I went through the blog post at that time, and they basically said, um... Yeah, it was uh, the cancer, uh, actual cancer treatment she had that were responsible for her death and it wasn't nothing to do with the cancer because the Gerson therapy was working and it was treating the cancer. Well, I've heard that excuse countless times and not once has anyone been able to actually show that that was even the case or that that will work. We went over, what, two years ago now, um, Jessica Frewley, um, who went to do the Gerson therapy and then made a video about how she needed to have more money and started begging the vegan community for more money uh, to go to a doctor in Mexico who basically all he was giving her was large amounts of morphine, so of course she felt better. <laughs> But uh, does this, uh, you know, does anyone, you know, seem to care about that outrage? No. A lot of the vegan community at the time was supporting this woman. And in fact, um, people like me and other people who spoke out against her not to give this woman money because she would literally, she would literally be giving it to a quack doctor. Um, we were ridiculed and, you know, hated on by a lot of these people. But still five years down the line and I want to make this point five years down the line no one has ever ever provided to me any evidence or proof I've had I've spoken with the um, director of Dying to Known Steve Kershaw I think his name was uh, I said well, what about setting up a debate between you and me he ran away that debate never happened. He ran away. He went and said he'd set it up with the grandson of Max Gerson. Never happened. He Again, he ran away from the debate. Uh, Steve, Steve Kershaw is an absolute coward. I am still waiting for his email return. He, he knows my email. Of course, this never happened. So, to this day, any time I've indeed challenged someone, they've ran away or when I've gone after them in the comment section and shown them hard proof they basically break down start calling me names and just well run away so still five years on I'm still asking that same question to the Gerson therapy its practitioners and supporters can you show me scientific proof that the Gerson therapy actually works Do you think I'll be still asking the same question in, what, five another five years' time? Where I can go, it's been ten years since I posted that video. Yeah, I think I still will. <laughs>
So remember people, the Gerson therapy is an absolute scam. It's quackery and it's absolute highest and it has nothing more, done nothing more than to fill the back pockets of the Gerson family.